I'm totally in a Christmas mood now, hence I've got my chocolate ornaments from Poundland. This one could actually be the first sort of Big Clive branded chocolate ornament because it does have the suitable beard and they also do a beer version. And the downside of this is that once you get inside, it does, as always, look a bit like a chocolate suppository for just popping and having a party. So I'll put them aside. I won't eat them now because the excessive mastication upsets some people. So this video is about 3D printed Christmas ornaments. It's about taking standard Poundland things like these sort of, what, what do they call them again? The, the metal balls, just metal. In this case, metal starlights. I want to point out you don't actually get this number in a packet. You only get eight. But they're very good for robbing for components because uh, when you pull the, uh, the light out, you can then pick out this bit here. And I have to say the star ones come out a lot easier than the ones out the balls. But uh, you get a little plastic insert that's designed to snap in and it's designed to take a standard LED like, you know, the standard arrangement, they've got the, the heat shrink sleeving and you can push them right in, it locks in and then you can push them into things. And I decided to try them out with uh, the 3D printed items. So I downloaded some crystals and shapes from Thingiverse. This one is called Rose Quartz, I think, on Thingiverse and you can scale it up and down. This one was called Diamond, reasonably enough. It, it's actually quite a small size. Not yet. I've not tried this. I'm not sure how well it's going to take the light. Uh, this is another variant of crystal. I was just basically searched Thingiverse for crystal and quartz crystal. But these other shapes here are just the standard ones that are part of the UP software uh, with the 3D printer, the Cetus uh, 2 printer that I got. And you can see I've been drilling holes in them already for inserting these little adapters to turn them into lights. So when you print these objects off, you want to print them hollow without any support. And that's where the uh, the Cetus is very good. The, the software it comes with is very good at closing the tops of objects without actually having them cave in. It can make cubes and circles without uh, them collapsing and without support. It's very good. So to convert these, I've taken a standard 5mm drill bit, or a quarter inch drill bit or, bit, or whatever you can get, and then in a reckless and dangerous manner that is non-compliant with health and safety regulations, I've drilled holes in the bottom of them. Then, I've got the classic eBay cone cutters. You get sets of these cone cutters off eBay, they're just really great, the stepped drills. And the size for these is about 8mm, and that's the sort of middle position in one of these. So I'm just going to swap that over right now. Get this uh, satin. Tighten it up. Uh, let's see, I'm not sure if this is going to bottom out in the front of the crystal. I may have to use a different one for that one. But uh, for these, I'm just going to very carefully go in. Not go too far, I don't want to damage it or put too much pressure in case you sort of push in the plastic. It's worth shaking it to get the stuff out and if you've got a screwdriver, you can just uh, scrape around the inside of these little rags of plastic and then the only way to get the plastic out of the holes is to basically shake it until they fly out. Uh, I'll just shake it off camera here so I don't... Uh... Right, I've just heard it ping across the room. Once it's pinged across the room, take your little rubber insert or... or I suppose these are vinyl, really, because they're that sort of flexible plastic, and pop it in. And once it's popped in, you can then stuff your LED either just into the surface of it or push it right in, inside. And when it's powered up, I don't know if this is going to be visible, uh, it makes the crystal light inside. So why am I using green LEDs and why am I using crystals? Well, this year, the Max Beard Club has entered for a local Christmas tree festival, and we're doing a tree called the kryptonite tree and it's all going to be covered in green crystals uh, with green LED lighting. Quite annoying actually, I, I, got, I got two sets of uh, green LED lights from CPC because it's the only place I could find the, the all green ones. And uh, they've got a timer built in and the timer function is such that when you power them up it's not bypassable. It starts the timer and eight hours later it turns the lights off. So because these are being displayed in a local sort of uh, town hall, I've actually had to put a time switch on it so that it will turn the lights off every six hours just for one minute and back on again just to reset that timer. But uh, it's, we've not put it in yet, it's going to look very good. 
I've not tried drilling. I've not tried drilling one of these wee tiny crystals. This is where I drill myself in full view on YouTube with blood everywhere. That's very festive. Well, that wasn't too bad. That wasn't too bad. Is it going to work with the little crystals? The other option is you could theoretically just drill a five millimeter hole and glue the LED in directly, but uh, these let you put the LED down much further inside it. That has some swarf in it that I want out, or is that just a, a bit of fluff from the... Occasionally when you're uh, making these, when it's 3D printing them, you get a bit of fluff inside from the printing process. That'll do though. Let's uh, see if this works. So if, can I push this in? Is it, is it going to work? Let's try a different one. That worked. Let's uh, stuff the LED in. Oh, the little ones look great. Yeah, I'm going to have to make lots of little ones. And the good news is the little ones print really fast. You can print tons of them at once. Right, next chocolate interlude. I was wondering, does Poundland's Big Chocolate Santa look like a dildo inside? I was going to say, can it be used as a dildo? I'm not sure that would be recommended. It kind of looks... Oh, no, it is actually shaped like Santa inside. It's not dildo-like like some of the ones you see elsewhere that are universal figures. Now, I'm just going to bite the head off it. Mmm. 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 Good head. So there we have it. Whatever hollow objects you can print with a 3D printer. Oh, let's try the sphere. Let's just keep doing it until the drill slips and I impale myself. So I'm using uh, the drill on a slow speed just for safety here. Not that we bother with such things normally. So let's uh, shake that out. Shake, shake, shake. Stuff the little adapter in. Totally worth going to Poundland for these little adapters. And yeah, that looks pretty good, doesn't it? That's quite nice. The, it's clear filament, it's PLA filament, and the, the way it forms up in layers actually catches the light. It has that lensing effect. No matter which angle you turn it, you're always going to get that nice stripe of light down the inside. So in that sense, the 3D printed objects just make really good Christmas lights. There's no stop me now. I'm going to have to just start doing it to them all. Oh, the other thing I'm putting on top of the uh, the Department of Villainy tree, we're calling it. The Kryptonite tree. Uh, oh, that's quite nice. That also works quite well. Is a green LED flame lamp. This is like the standard uh, flame lamp you can get everywhere. Where's the, where's the power supply? Where's the, the classic pink screen adapter? And it's got that really lurid sort of flame effect. Uh, I think that's going to look really good. So we're going to use this as a tree topper. Hopefully people won't call the fire brigade. They'll understand that green is not a normal flame colour. So this with all these crystals down the outside. The tr thing is, really, uh, I could test this right now. I could drill this and I could put uh, an LED in. And we'll see how well it lights. So this is uh, the fluorescent green PLA material. PLA is my primary choice because it's just one of the best materials for this. I also like the fact that it's completely biodegradable. Uh, I'll just keep shaking this until all the bits fly out. Let's stick another of these little adapters in. At one point I'm going to do it with such force it will burst the plastic. Okay. Actually, again, you're getting a... Uh, you're getting fairly decent illumination down that. It is. Let's compare it to the other one. Let's uh, turn the light off, compare them. Um, I could take the exposure off, it would just swamp, it would look ridiculous. That's not bad, actually. The green actually looks very visual. But I do like the, uh, I like the, uh, sort of the crystally effect of the clear one. Okay. So, um, yeah, that's a good result, I'd say. So, worth getting these. Uh, just for the little adapters, the little caps that uh, take the LEDs and then drilling these out to 8mm and then putting these in so you can make any sort of customised LED fair lights you like. So a uh, good result. That is definitely working very well.